So based on this, I'm not on the lowest gear. I'm doing the pedal assist. Somebody took my camera. Hey! And because the hill was already hard enough and on the other side of the hill, there's a valley, there's a dip and then another hill. I just couldn't find oh. where the thief went and off they went with my camera. Of course, I got it reported and rest in peace, Sony RX100 Mark 7. <laughs> This is the OneBot S6L. It is a Jetson Hayes styled e-bike. However, it is very different. It is for people that are tall, people with good genetics, everyone except for Asians. I mean, you don't have to be that tall to ride this. It's perfectly acceptable for those with little man syndrome. Bruh. It's a tad on the taller side, but I can fit. Folding pedals. These are core ride brakes, 160 millimeter rotors, 20 by 1.95 inch tires. They are skinny. Rear fender, front light, folding handlebar, comfortable hand grips, half throttle, electronic horn, Shimano six speed shifter, an LCD panel where you can see your power, speed, odometer, and power adjustments. Hold M to power on, plus and minus for up to three power levels. Press M to toggle the display from trip, odometer, and time. The rear seat is wider than normal and it has pretty good comfort. Somewhat basic kickstand and magnet to keep your bike folded together. The battery is specified at 36 volt, 7.8 amp hours. The battery is removable with this key. Here it is, somewhat lightweight. It's 280 watt hours. 36 volt, 250 watt motor. What does this mean for the hill test? What does this mean for top speed? What does this mean for acceleration? Current price 629. Use coupon code UTRUTHER for additional savings. Links in the description. All right, next up, we're gonna have a ride and see how it feels. I'm sure I could get around this without much trouble because it is a small e-bike. It's not Jetson Bolt small, but it's like the electric XP Lite, just with this meager 250 watt motor, which is quite fine along this path. Oh, it's even a, a bit peppy. Five miles an hour, says the sign. So we'll keep it slow. Is that anybody playing in this baseball field? Oop, grass. Oh, I forgot that this thing is not really made for off-road, but it's handling it fine right here. I can say that the, the shock, okay? It has a rear shock. It does help a bit but it's not as comfy as maybe the jets and haze there's a bit of noise i'm not quite sure what it's from uh i think it's that front light yeah but because that this bike is a bit tall it feels confident riding is like a normal bike it's great yeah this tall frame is definitely great there's a little bit of a hill here i'm gonna Go to third gear because this is too easy of a hill. All right, let's go this way. No more off-roading. Yeah, it's made for this solid road. Two 1.95 inch wheels can get precarious and I don't want to test it too much. <laughs> what do you think about the bike? It's small in the picture, but it looks long and skinny. Oh, really? Do you think you could get on that? It's kind of, kind of a little bit tall. Yeah, kind of. Did you? Uh, can you blow with that? That's the lowest right there. Oh, I'm five feet more than five feet tall. But... All right, go have at it.
Okay, so how do you think? Okay, um, this bike a little bit tall for me. Asian, Asian uh, size. I kind of like short. And uh, average speed. If people don't like to drive really fast, they can uh, pick this bike. It's average. Not super fast like another bike. I'm five feet tall, so it's okay if I can touch my feet, but um, even a little bit lower, but with me. With, yeah, with a little me. bit lower, I think it would be better for you, for yeah. sure. <laughs> but not other people good. <laughs> yeah. I mean, this is a large size bike. It's made for taller people. Oh. I just wanted to see if you could even ride it. <laughs> Not make <make-up> for me. <laughs> okay, well, thank you so much for your help. Mm -hmm. Hope you enjoy your ride back. Okay. <laughs> Next up. All right, we're going to speed test with the sucker right now. And we are on level one, okay? goes to nine miles an hour level two goes to 12 miles per hour pedal assist and pedal assist three goes to 15 miles an hour 16 miles an hour not bad this is a uh, pedal assist on the 17 it's faster than the Speed Hack Jetson Bolt Pro. All right, we're gonna do top speed right now with pedal assist three, and I am gonna pedal all the way too. All right, sixteen, seventeen. So with gear six, I can't get over seventeen, but. I can maintain, you know, I'm pushing the engine so that it's not really exhausting the battery or the power because this is leg power right here. I can feel that I'm pushing. It is tiring though, just maintaining that 16 or 17. Ooh. Brace, come on. Huh? Brace. Go fastest. I'm going my fastest. I want to see if you can pull up. <laughs> I'm, I'm just the fastest I'm going. <laughs> I'm not lying. This is as fast as I can go. Next to me is a bona fide 20 mile per hour Jetson Bolt Pro speed hacked with 48 volt battery. So between 17 miles an hour versus 20 miles per hour, there is a difference. However, it's not going to be a huge deal breaker. Time for the hill test and you know the drill. I got robbed once. I'm still gonna do it again. And what I noticed from this bike is that you shouldn't be doing the hill test when it's this low in power. But other than that, it has a good amount of torque. I mean, it doesn't have great torque. It's more than the Jetson Bolt Pro. But look, the Jetson Bolt Pro stopped right here. And we're getting past that. This is a 250 watt motor. I mean, it shouldn't get past that. But, you know, since this is like my fourth time running up this hill. The battery is quite limited at this point. So I'm going to cut over to the previous clip that I have before the unfortunate incident. This thing is still trucking. Wow. 250 watt motor. It is surprising that it's even getting this far. So is this a geared motor? I'm not sure, but this is a lot further than I expected. Granted, I'm only going like two miles an hour and it's going to stop soon. But this is like almost as much as the Jetson Hayes and the electric made it to. The Jetson Hayes and Electric XP Lite made it about two houses further. All right, this time I'm on power level three, which is the highest pedal assist is on three as well. So it's not the highest because I need some, some torque. Okay, at six, it's just no torque. But three, I think I could pedal this hill even without it. So let's see how much I have to drop down. Right now, I'm at 12, still sitting in my seat. And it feels good. 
I'm at 10. So thankfully this thing has gears and it does help quite a bit. And I'm at 28% power level. All right, I'm at level nine. Here's the very, very steepest part. And it's a breeze because of the gears. Drop down to two to make it super easy. It does drop down my speed a little bit to seven miles an hour. And we are done. Oh my god. Being old and off balance <laughs> absolutely sucks. All right, I am gonna go full speed and I'm gonna do a brake test right now. Let's get started. All right, let's pick up some speed. I'm not gonna take that long because it's only 16 miles an hour and I'm at 28 kilometers per hour. <sighs> well, that wasn't that great. So I'm gonna have to adjust the brakes and we'll try that again. Now they're adjusted. I'm gonna try it again. All right, here we go, here we go. Much better, much better. Yeah, that was a really fast stop. All right, moving on. Next up, let's talk about the size of this e-bike and here it is next to the Jetson Bolt Pro. It is much larger. The one watt S6L is a larger mini style e-bike and when you fold it up it does get quite small because of this e-bike it has 1.95 inch tires and the folding mechanism is similar to the Jetson Hayes because of this and because of the magnet it's easy to carry it's easy to contain it doesn't go all over the place and as you can see right here it is quite small once it's folded up and it's not thick at all like when compared to fat tire e-bikes because of the magnet, because of the rolling wheel, because of the frame and the holding places where you could put your hand, it does make this e-bike easy to maneuver and put into any car of your choice. And when it's time to take it apart, it's just as simple because the lightweight nature of this bike and the somewhat larger size, it's quite easy to handle. It's one of the easier bikes that you can fold and unfold. Next up, let's talk about the range of the OneBot S6L. It comes with a 36 volt, 7.5 amp hour battery, and that's not that impressive on paper, that is. However, I have to test it out and have to test it all the way through. This test is after I've been up and down the hill four times. This test is after I chased after a thief and failed to catch up to them. This test is a continuation of the rides in the park, the ride on pavement, on packed gravel, on grass, and I was able to get 15 miles. However, it does come with a catch, kind of like being married for over 10 years. Bruh. The bike would only produce a certain amount of energy and there was only enough power to get you going about 13 and a half miles an hour once you're reaching below 60%. So it means that it's putting out a whole lot less. It is less energetic. It is less peppy. It's got a whole lot less to offer, just like being married for over 10 years. <gasps> Final thoughts. The OneBot S6L is the largest of the miniature sized e-bikes. And for the price, you are getting a somewhat comfortable ride, a magnesium frame, decent top speed, and somewhat good battery life. Let's talk about some of the drawbacks. The charging port cover, it is not connected to the bike. So when you remove it, just remember to put it back. Otherwise you'll have a gaping hole. The rear reflector, it would have been nice if it was a built-in light instead. It would have been nice if you could use rear accessories like a rack. However, being built like the Jetson Hayes, that's not possible. The lack of cruise control. I just couldn't figure out how to get this going. However, when it comes to the positive and this ties into the cruise control, this e-bike is spectacular for pedaling. Yes, if you enjoy pedaling, if you enjoy getting exercise, this is the e-bike to do it because of the gear system. There is a six-speed Shimano system. And because you can lower your gears, because you can raise your gear, you're not going to be ghost pedaling at all. 
The OnePod S6L is an electric bike that is meant to be pedal assisted a lot. Because you could pedal in six gears so well, I believe that you would be able to get significantly more range if you were to pedal and it is extremely comfortable pedaling even when your battery is exhausted and you are out of juice. The OneBot S6L is an interesting take on the miniature e-bike market. It has a meager 250 watt motor. However, you get a six speed gear system, you get a lightweight body, and in that combination, you're able to get decent range. The combination of power and gearing gives you the ability to climb up very steep hills without breaking a sweat. If you're a somewhat tall individual, like most adults, and you're looking for an e-bike that is stylish, compact, portable, lightweight, and rangy, the OneBot S6L might be the ticket for you. Anyhow, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, share. See you in the next one. Take care.